Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a challenge that many developers encounter when working with live broadcasting apps. Our viewer is looking to enhance their video stream by adding a watermark, but they're facing some hurdles with GLSL filtering. The question revolves around a live broadcasting app based on Graphica's examples. The developer wants to overlay text or a logo on their video stream, but is struggling with texture compatibility issues. They tried using alpha blending, but ended up with a black frame instead of the desired overlay. In their quest for a solution, they referenced code from both Graphica and Kickflip SDKs. However, replicating the rendering code hasn't yielded the expected results. So how can they successfully overlay text or images on their live video feed? Let's dive into the details and explore potential solutions. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your questions, answering them and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy just like me and hopefully get to that resolution you need. Now, let's get started. To overlay text or an image on your camera stream, we need to modify the rendering process in your GL surface view. First, ensure you have the necessary textures set up for both the camera feed and the overlay. In your on-surface created method, initialize the overlay texture. You can create a texture from a string or an image resource. This will be used for the watermark. Next, in the onDrawFrame method, ensure that you draw the overlay texture after updating the camera texture. This is crucial for proper layering. Make sure to enable blending for the overlay to ensure it appears correctly on top of the video feed. This is done in the on-surface created method. Finally, test your implementation. If you see a black frame, double check your texture formats and ensure that the overlay is being drawn after the camera frame. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To draw text or images on a camera stream using GLSL, you need to use the GL Texture External OES Texture Target. This requires the GL OES EGL Image External extension. Make sure to bind the texture correctly and declare the extension in your shader. For alpha blending, consider overriding the Texture 2D program. This allows you to customize the draw function to include your watermark before sending the output to the video encoder. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your question I hope, and you found that resolution. Guys, if this helped, please hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, have a good one.